This is it. Here we go with the Mexican Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Lights out and away we go. Welcome, guys, to the final episode, at least here on Twitch, uh, of this McLaren crew mode. We have arrived here at the, uh, I'm not even going to try to to butcher uh, the name of uh, the Mexican GP circuit, but we have arrived here in Mexico City, and uh, we have a very interesting race on our hands here this afternoon. So, uh, George Russell really doing a great job yesterday in qualifying, clutching up, and uh, qualifying on the pole position, as unfortunately, Espan Ocon did a, a pretty good job in his own respect. Uh, unfortunately, has not made the greatest of starts from position number four, and has fallen down to position number six, at least momentarily. We'll see where he winds up being uh, after we get through the stadium section. So, looking at the strategies that we're going to try to do today, we are... Splitting it up, we're giving George Russell the quote-unquote faster strategy with the mediums onto hards onto mediums. Whilst with S1 Ocon, we're going to try to cover off any of our potential championship rivals. As you can see, uh, Verstappen and Piastri uh, starting down there in uh, well, what was P19 and P20. Uh, both of them have made their way up to P18 and P19. So, pretty solid start. Hopefully, we can keep this up. I know Teo Porcher, uh, the only, actually, besides he and uh, Jack Crawford, the only two drivers to start this race on a set of soft compound rubber. But uh, hopefully, we can pull away, cement our lead, and, uh, and never look back. contact there and that caused a lot of damage oh. and the team had such high hopes today what a shame Wow, so championship leader Alexander Albon has crashed into the back of Yuki Sonoda. Sonoda better get out of the thing. That thing is on uh, fire at the moment, but both those drivers are out of the race, and now a safety car has been called. So it didn't take long uh, for somebody to make a mistake and throw themselves into a barrier. Uh, thankfully, uh, we were able to avoid any sort of uh, any sort of collection uh, or any sort of part of being involved in that crash. But uh, yeah, safety car has been called. I will see you guys at the restart. Like waiting, waiting, waiting. Thankfully, uh, at least for ourselves, those soft tires are starting to go over the cliff just a little bit. Uh, so maybe just maybe we'll be able to take advantage uh, of the French in here before long. As you can see, George Russell not wanting to waste any time, especially uh, with the hard charging with Schumacher and Jack Doohan right behind in P3 and P4. But overall, uh, I think we'll be able to survive this, uh, this little restart here, and uh, I'll see you guys a bit later on in the race. And that spin is undoubtedly going to cost them time. Love to see it. This looks like Ocon. How? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. The car's just gone. Mm. All right, pit stops are underway for your race leaders. George Russell, George Russell rather, uh, will be the first in the box. Unfortunately, we will get held up there uh, by Mick Schumacher and Jack Doohan, but I think uh, Teo Porcher has got a worse fate waiting for him uh, than we do. As you can see, having to wait there not only for Mick, or for Jack Doohan rather to go through, uh, but also ourselves. So in the net, we did jump ahead uh, of the Frenchman. However, we did lose a little bit of time here, but thankfully coming out ahead, uh, critically of the uh, the spinning Richard Bashore, and uh, we will reemerge in position number eight. Of course. Of course. It's a collision. Let's really? take a look at the replay. Now, I don't, I don't, even, I don't even want to see it again. So, uh, somehow we've managed to survive, but there is massive damage under the car. I mean, yeah, this is, this is basically going to be a uh, race over here for George Russell. Thankfully, the engine managed to survive, but uh, a five-second penalty here for George Russell for getting torpedoed. Nice. All right, some of your other leaders on the uh, the conventional one-stop strategy, like what we have going on here with Espen Ocon, have made their way into the pit lane. So Zhou Guan Yu, Jane Deruvula, Zane Maloney, as well as Dennis Halger and uh, Richard Bashour all coming in for their presumably uh, one and only pit stop here this afternoon. So that's going to cycle Leonard Norris to the race lead, although I believe he and uh, he and Espen Ocon still need to make their first pit stops uh, in this race. So that will actually leave Teo Porcher all by, uh, all by his lonesome out on an island uh, up here in the net race lead in position number three. Yeah, well, I guess uh, your current race leader, Leonard Norris, is into the pit lane onto a set of hard compound tires. Luckily for him, did not have to wait up uh, for Esteban Ocon. However, as you'll see here, passing on the left, Teo Porcher, uh, as I said before, will go ahead and cycle his way to the race lead. So Teo Porcher, uh, your new race leader here in Mexico City, could he become the 13th different winner this season? That's crazy uh, as that might sound. Leonard Norris is actually going to cycle himself out into position number two. So good stuff there uh, from the Ferrari pit crew, Norris P2. Uh, Zhou Guan Yu is P3. Last race, or I should say the winner from Suzuka, uh, and Oliver Behrman runs P4, and then Cal Williams and Pierre, Pierre Gasly uh, cap off your points-paying positions. But critically, Max Verstappen has crept his way up into position number eight. We uh, we might just be screwed here, guys. You can clearly see the contact there, and that caused a lot of damage. No kidding. So uh, the crazy race just continues to get crazier. Leonard Norris on fire. The second driver that we've had on fire this race uh, is out. 
Okay, here's the first. You guys already saw it. You, you already know what happened. So, uh, Lando Norris is now out of the race, and a full course yellow has been called. That's going to neutralize the field and eliminate Teo Porcher's massive advantage over the field. It's also going to allow uh, other drivers to come back into this race. Other drivers that need to, to come into the pit lane, like Count Williams, to, to repair damage. Same goes for Mick Schumacher here uh, in position 13. This is basically going to throw a massive wrench uh, into this race's outcome. We'll see what happens after everything gets sorted itself out, but... Uh, Oh my goodness. Uh, but yeah, Porcher waiting a long time, actually going just now uh, as we make our way down to turn number one. But yeah, yeah. and Alfa Romeo leads two Mercedes, uh, followed by an Haas, or followed by a Haas, uh, a Red Bull, and an Alpine. Uh, do we have any more accidents in store? All right, so thankfully the damage might have just been limited. So Pierre Gasly uh, and Max Verstappen both coming into the pit lane this time by Gasly. Uh, coming off his win at Coda, we'll go ahead and make his way back onto the racing surface. Thankfully for ourselves, uh, Verstappen has... Someone locked up. Oh, it's Porcher. Oh, my God. What let's convenient timing. Now, let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. Oh, and there's the lockup. That's the last thing they'll have wanted. Dear me. They won't have been expecting that. Oh, no. And there's the crash. Mark my words. There'll be questions asked about that later. Oh! <laughs> the team are really disappointed with that. Oh Let's my hope God! It set them back too badly. I can't believe what I just saw. I cannot believe what I am seeing just now. Every time that I get a little freebie, the game just takes it away. So Oliver Behrman, Cal Williams, Joe Guanyu, and Teo Porcher are all going to come or make their way uh, into the pit lane. Porcher is going to come in again. All right, Porcher's already coming in either way. I'm, I'm losing my mind here. So uh, Oliver Behrman, the winner from Suzuka, is going to make his way back out onto the track in P8 on a brand new set uh, of soft compound rubber right behind the three medium compound tired runners of Verstappen, Gasly, and Jack Dewan who are going to cycle their way. Uh, onto the back of the queue. I, 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 I have no words. I have absolutely no words for what I'm seeing. I'm just going to fast forward and I'll see you guys at the restart. All right, safety car is going to come in this lap. So Zane Maloney, Richard Bashore, Jane Darubla, and somehow Dennis Halger uh, find themselves in the top four. They are all in an old set of hard compound tires. Jack Dewan, Pierre Gasly, and Max Verstappen all on a new-ish set uh, of medium compound tires. And Oliver Behrman and PA look for him, uh, your winner from Suzuka, to make his way up the field quickly uh, on that brand-new set of softs, as well as uh, Cal Williams, Teo Porcher. Uh, Piastri runs 11th on an old set of hards, and then Joe Guanyu, Vesti Crawford, Schumacher uh, round out your field. I don't know. Or I was going to say, can this race get any crazier? Richard Bashore going up the inside of Zane Maloney here at turn number one. It looks like Maloney's going to chop him off. An accident this late in the race would be absolutely catastrophic for all these drivers. I, oh, oh my God. No way. No way. That's Drubla. Let's have a look. Dude. Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. Look at that. They've spun their car. Well, it didn't take for, for more than a lap, but uh, Max Verstappen, our main championship rival, uh, besides Alexander Albon, is going to get a massive freebie this afternoon. Richard Verschur let him go uh, midway through the lap, and Max Verstappen has cycled his way back up to the front. The number 33 is now back on top, and if he's able to win this race, he will assume the championship lead heading into Interlagos. I am sick to my stomach right now. I don't think any of us that uh, they're going to be watching this race could have expected such a calamitous, such a, a topsy-turvy afternoon, but somehow some way, as Max Verstappen very gingerly uh, makes his way through the, through the final corner, Verstappen is going to win the Mexican GP and vault himself up into the championship lead I have no words for what I just saw, but um yeah, wow. Gasly will circle the final quarter. He will come all the way back to finish P2. Maloney will be P3. Rasher will be P4. Do in P5. And then uh, Suzuka's race winner, Oliver Behrman, unfortunately was not quite able to make the most uh, of those soft compound tires. As you can see, they'll probably die off here at the end. But uh, yeah, Behrman will cap out uh, the points here this afternoon. What a crazy race that we just had. And Verstappen finishes first. Without doubt, a stellar performance. Something that will be seen as a real highlight this season. Max Verstappen picks up only his second victory uh, of the season, but a critical one at a at what a moment that could not have been any more precious. So Verstappen takes over the championship lead. Albon still only trailing by three points, but uh, I mean a ten point swing is absolutely huge uh, in the, in terms of the championship. But uh, yeah, George Russell, unfortunately, we, we were just a victim uh, of a of a rogue Alfa Romeo, 
and uh, that'll see us go into Interlagos more or less uh, in, a, in a situation where we not only have to outscore Verstappen, but uh, it's, it's effectively a must win if we re a must win rather if we realistically want a shot here at the championship. Lando Norris uh, unfortunately failed to score today. He will be eliminated. Uh, actually, no, he's still alive. He, he just needs to hope Verstappen fails or uh, and falls on his face. But either way, uh, Lando Norris remains still in contention uh, for the championship in position number four. Pierre Gasly uh, obviously has already been eliminated. However, he improves his standing up to P5 as uh, he gets his second straight podium in a row. Oscar Piastri falls to P6 for sure uh, with three points to his tally, actually jumping ahead of Mick Schumacher, who falls uh, to position number eight. Esteban Ocon was leading this race with Joe Guan Yu. They had pulled away. It was going to be a battle between them and Zane Maloney and uh, unfortunately just got on the bad side uh, of a torpedoing. So, uh, yeah. Unfortunate for him, but uh, yeah, still P9 uh, in the championship. Say Maloney uh, kind of just let all the all the craziness happen around him. He's finally back on the podium uh, for the first time in quite a little while. Good stuff from the Barbadian. Actually, did he finish the podium? Yeah, he finished P3. So good stuff there from the Barbadian. Gets himself up to P10. Jack Doom with two points of his own remains in a tie. Or is now in a tie, I should say, with Sam Maloney for that 10th position at 20 points apiece as uh, Jane Deruvula falls to position number 12. Behrman picked up one more, one extra point, breaking the tie between he uh, and the, the once dominator of this race, Anteo Porcher. And uh, you can see the rest of the list down here. So in the Constructors' Championship, both ourselves and Ferrari failed to score, so that gap will remain at 12 points uh, as we head into the penultimate race at Interlagos. But Alpine pick up four points of their own. They keep their championship hopes alive. And I believe with that result, Red Bulls still have a mathematical chance uh, of fighting for this championship. So keep an eye uh, on the uh, on the Milton Keynes outfit there in position number four. Mercedes uh, pick up six points to break the tie between themselves and Alpha Tauri. Haas pick up two to uh, further distance themselves from Alfa Romeo. And uh, Williams just tacking on that extra point, getting really, really close to Alfa Romeo there uh, for position number eight. So... The, the craziest, I'm going to call it right now, in the 10 seasons that I've done this career mode, this was the craziest race that we've ever had. Unfortunately, we were on the bad end of it, but uh, that's just that's just how things go. So, unfortunate for ourselves, hopefully we can rebound in a more or less must-win situation uh, heading into Interlagos.